so this is something I came up with. Uh, I, I basically, it's a religious rant, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was indoctrinated the, my whole life as, like, fucking by my father, and pretty much until the age of 13 or 14, when I took an outside perspective on all of religion, like, I was just brainwashed, essentially, like, I fucking hated, like, you should never teach religion to a child, like, if anything, you teach it as a separate thing, maybe, like, show different perspectives, but I mean, he didn't do that, he taught it as truth, and when I was 13 or 14, like, I took out, took an outside perspective on it, it's like, I really believe this bullshit, <laughs> The one that broke my back, essentially, on the beliefs was um, the belief of natural sin, essentially sending babies to hell or purgatory or whatever. That's the point when I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> there is something wrong with this. And uh, though I must say, uh, it gave me quite a questioning mind, but it also fucked me up quite a lot. So, um... This is my definition of God. This isn't mine. This is what I've been told by so many people. And what it comes out to being is the definition itself is flawed. Like, it's a contradiction, which religion is all about. So, um, I'm going to read it for you. So, the definition of God, there's, it's been described as love, as a father, as everything, and God. You know, so love, love. The definition of love is an intense feeling of deep affection, a feeling of warm personal attachment or deep affection as for parent, child, or friend. In what world does anyone receive deep love or affection from God? Like honestly, <laughs> people just die and kill, and nothing seems to change. And I mean, even in the Bible, God fucking smites everyone and fucking kills innocents and innocent people all the time. And you know, Old Testament is fucking really fucked up, so <laughs> I'm not even gonna go into that. But it, it seems like the deep feelings of affection would include showing yourself to people, like talking to people, getting to know people. But I mean, you're claiming to love someone that doesn't appear, like, you have a shallow-ass version of love <laughs> beyond all, all that I've experienced, like, <laughs> like, you don't even understand the definition of love if you think God loves you, because there's no one there, and it's pretty obvious, unless you attach some other worldly experience, experience as God, which most people do, because, I mean, it's hard to love nothing. <laughs> Um, just because he created us wouldn't mean that he loved us. I mean, it seems like he's out to get us more than anything. Like, if you believe the Adam and Eve shit, like, you know, he kicked you out of heaven because you ate a fucking apple. In what world does that make sense? Even if that apple represented sin, like, it's the freedom of choice. He gave it to us. Why wouldn't he expect us to use it? Simple logic, but that's something people don't understand or choose not to understand. It just seems like love should be treated as a far more affectionate, affectionate emotion than ignoring your creation and when they need you the most. I don't know if you've seen the world nowadays, but you got pedophile priests, you've got countries falling apart, you've got wars, you've got genocide. Uh, I'm pretty sure we could use some help, but uh, <laughs> hey, it's fine, it's fine, it'll work itself out, you know. Uh, Alright, so the next definition is father. A male person whose sperm unites with an egg resulting in the conception of a child. Mom, god damn it, stop sleeping around with God, because that's, <laughs> unless that's what happened, God is not our father. I'm sorry, but it, 
that's shocking. That, that might be it. Just yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna touch base on the uh, the fucking Mary thing too, because I mean uh, <laughs> the fact that people believe that you know uh, Joseph of Arimathea wasn't sleeping with Mary is just absurd. That's where Jesus came from. It wasn't fucking some angel or god implanting you Mary. It was fucking Joseph of Arimathea, but that what happened was he probably slept with her when he wasn't supposed to or when they weren't married and got her knocked up. Uh, that's the simple truth. It's just... I, I can understand it, but why our religion was built around it, I will never know. <laughs> So the next definition is everything. All things, all things of a group or class. All things of importance or a great deal. Um, and I, I'm, I'm being generous with these definitions. I'm looking for the most uh, expl exploratory uh, version for religious people. I'm not just trying to take it out of context or anything. Um, this is flat up like I, I look for the definition that will suit it best um, but the definition for everything um, so since people like to make this claim a lot uh, I'm going with both definitions there's two all things of importance or a great deal or things of classes different types of classes or groups um, if God is all things, then he is also all the evil in the world. He is the devil, he is the rapist, he is all the murderers, which is kind of ironic because, you know, um, atheists are actually a very, very, very low percent. They don't even add up to 1% of all the people in jail right now, so uh, just a fun fact. I think it's more like 0.5% are atheists, but yeah, just so you know, just a little fact. Um, so, I mean, in all reality, he, he kind of does, God in the Bible does kind of enjoy uh, brutally killing people, you know. So, maybe he does, he does go along with that definition. <laughs> but, I mean, um, it's just kind of weird to be praising someone like that. Uh, if, he's, if he's all things of importance, then why do we work to survive? If he's so important that, you know, your family can survive off of them, well, you're going to have a starving family because um, he, he's not going to provide them with food or shelter, you know? Um, if he's your family, then, again, mom, stop sleeping around. God fucking damn it. <laughs> if he's the one you love, you have no idea what love is. Um, I'm pretty sure being gay is considered evil in the Bible because it is stated that God is a man. If you're in love with a man, then you're fucking gay. If you're a woman and you love God, there has to be something there for you to love in the first place. I'm sorry, but there's nothing there. Sorry. <laughs> you can love life and say you love God. That, that's fine. But you're just distorting the word God. I mean, you should love life. It's a great thing. It's once in a lifetime, you know? But, uh, it, it just seems silly. Um, you can say that you love being happy and claim it's God, but it's not. You can, you can't really say you love everything. You can't, it just doesn't work. I mean, you can love every action you do. You can think about every action you do. I do that. But, uh, it just, <laughs> it's frustrating. People just don't get simple concepts. All right, so um, I'll go with, uh, this is the final definition. Um, God, a being conceived as perfect, omnipotent, omnis omniscient originator and ruler of the universe, the principle of object of faith and worship in mon monotheistic religions, the force, the effect, or the manifestation or aspect of this being. If God created himself, 
if you, or if God created humans, then he himself is flawed and for <laughs> creating such a fucked up race. Uh, he, you pretty much worship him and say he's, he's, we're images of him. But I mean, if we're images of him, then he cannot be perfect because it doesn't work that way. If you created us, you are just as flawed as us. I mean, if he's omnipotent, he's watching people starve to death uh, without lifting a finger. He's watching people get murdered, all that shit. Innocent people. I mean, how can you justify that as perfect? I, I don't view that as perfect. I'm sorry. Um, <sighs> You're the ruler of the universe. Why would you not make the, an appearance? Though making an appearance for God would be about the worst thing we could ever experience because he seems like a fucking asshole to me. Um, how can you rule something without ever saying a word, without... Uh, the Bible is not... does not give you that. It does not say his words. It says humanity's words. And we, it's just fucking bullshit. Like, 2,000 years old rewritten how many times, parts left out, parts translated. I mean, how can you really put that as your faith? Like, that's essentially the basis for all faith, and for Christianity, at least, and it's just full of holes. It doesn't make sense. I looked up on a fucking just random website, and I looked at all the different contradictions, and it ended up being around 80,000 characters, so, <laughs> and it was, like, really simple contradictions. It wasn't, like, long stated sentences. It was just like, oh, God says this. Oh, God says the exact opposite in this later passage. Yeah, it just doesn't work that way. Uh, if, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, these it just doesn't make sense. Your religion doesn't make sense. I mean, you can be a good person without having religion. You just need to not be such a douche. The object of faith and worship, of what's there to worship, he, he never shows himself. And even if he did, uh, that would do more harm than good. I, I already went over that. I'm, I'm getting back to the writing, sorry. Um, he, he really is just as evil as us if he exists. Like, really, why should you be worshipping that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Force effect manif manifestation, all that shit. He doesn't show himself. It makes zero credit to give him... Zero sense to give him credit for shit in the world. You give him all the props for the good shit, and then completely deny it when shit goes bad. Like, it just doesn't make sense, you know? Why do that? If, if God created everything, he created the good and the bad. You can't just ignore the bad part, even though you do, because that's what you do with your Bible. <sighs> These are, this is all modern day definitions. Each word I've had someone claim to be God, and uh, it just, it doesn't make sense. Uh, I didn't take any of this crap out of context. It was just, none of your shit, like, adds up. I speak the truth, nothing more, nothing less. The definition of religion, the belief in, in and worship of a superhuman controlling power, especially a personal god or gods. The definition of truth, that which is true or in accordance with fact or reality. Honestly, which one sounds better? Just... <sighs> you people.